good morning good afternoon good evening depending on when you are seeing this video welcome to my channel if you are new to this channel please do well to give me a thumb up and drop your comments very important okay i want you to watch this video this is a video of a, of a leader in, in a Edo state house of assembly lamenting of, on what happened how the all progressive congress apc collided with security agents and the INEC to rig the governorship election in the states. So we are going to watch this video and listen to her because many apart only apart from her, all the people have been saying different things concerning how the election was rigged in those states. But what do I know? So I want you to take your time and listen to her. My name is Honorable Natasha Irobosa Osawaru. I am the deputy majority leader of the Edo State House of Assembly, representing the very good people of Ego. Ego was in chaos today. From security personnel that are supposed to observe a process, started helping people carry ballot boxes. The good thing is that videos will be uploaded on social media. I'm young, so we are very good with the social media. We see with video, we see with video. The oppression was too much. We are voting. We are building biscuits. Yes, we let APC vote freely. They are not the ones oppressing us. That you will tell a world coalition. In fact, it's an aberration because in the 1999 constitution as amended, it does, we don't collect in INEC. We collect in the world. So you cannot tell the world people to come and collect in INEC. Then when they are there, you have the other candidates in there with INEC. Then you are pushing out the PDP candidates. Obviously, you are rigging. And we are not going to take it. It's either we all go in there since they decide, um, maybe they have their own reasons. But without their reasons, we must be there. Agents must be there. When they are collecting, agents are there. Agents must be there. Agents should enter. If they don't, a just election will be cancelled because we won't take it now.
to their MOU today. There was a lot of drama here last night, you know, and uh, your party was also involved in what happened uh, here in the dead of the night. Now that it has been all concluded, do you think all that was justified? Well, you see, what happened yesterday is somebody who said he's going to burn Nigeria. For you to see him in the premises where election materials are kept, it's dangerous. Obasaki is a dangerous person right now. And we are calling on uh, the immigration to be watchful because the next move is for him to, to zap. He's going to form a government of unity because before the elections, you can see more than eight political parties endorse him. So he's definitely going to form a government of unity. They saw in him what is not in Obaseki. So he's going to unite the state and bring the state together because it is only with that unity and peace that you can that can attract development to the state. The Democratic Party say they will be challenging the result of this exercise in court and they probably seem to have a lot to say about what happened uh, here today. Well, of course, you talked about manufacturing, even though sarcastically you're talking about MOU. But of course, they talked about results uh, manufactured. Don't you think that will be a major thorn in the flesh of uh, this victory that you scored here today? No, that's not, it's not possible because when you talk, how do you manufacture results? You don't manufacture because our process, our process starts from the, from the, uh, from the pulling units. And the results you have seen there are results that emanated from the pulling units and it reflected, it reflects what happened in the field that I that yesterday. And as I, as I speak, the results that are being read out today are results that we already know through our situation room because we are collecting them from our situation room. Exit poll already show that we are going to win the election. And you believe that this exercise was very transparent? It is I feel very happy. you that I'm starting from where I'm from. And I want to let you also know that I would like to emulate what I want to have done in a private state. I thought we received a new transformation. By the grace of God, I thought is back again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Those who win it on the planet are only the few 
that God has so anointed. And that is why when some people say, the nation is a do or die, we say no. It's about joy, it's about celebration of the power of the United States to hire and fire people who are the white guy, even side death center. Now, today, God by his infinite power has decreed Senator Mode Akpako Misa, alias Akpako Rescue. Some now call him Akpako Miracle because I don't need all of that to make up for the eight year disaster of Opaseki and Aswe together. Yes. So on this day, I am very first, we give thanks to God Almighty that we did all those campaigns without casualty. That we did all those campaigns without any allegation against the candidate and any one of us missing violence on any boy, anyone. Even when they planned and they did succeed in killing his body guy in order to frighten him, God said, My son, who I have anointed, will not be frightened. So tonight, it can only be joy and joy and joy. I give all the praises to God, our Creator, that He has made His own Son, who He has chosen to clean the mess of the outgoing and even not outgone of Baseki and the fake artificial intelligence it was going to bring. <laughs> and though we now be governed by a combination of a man enriched with native wisdom, a man familiar with the custom and tradition of a state, a man who by his personal lifestyle is humble, gentle, but focused, a man who has used his personal resources to show love and commitment to babies, to mothers, to the elderly, to children, and to community. We can call him a guy who has huge credentials in terms of community services. A man who just looked like me and said that he's younger, he's fresher, and he has better energy to do the job that God has now entrusted in his soldier. So I am a very happy man, I am a fulfilled man, and now I ask God in his evening powers to further enrich him with wisdom so that together he will make a difference. Let it be said, 10 years after his rule, people will say, during Senator Monday, now we get this school. During Senator Monday, now we get this hospital. During Senator Monday, now we get this room. For me, it's a personal fulfillment. And those who say there will be bloodbath, God has put them to shame. There is no single reported incident of anybody being shot during this election. There is no one who is in the hospital. So when the National Act Chairman of PDP said there will be bloodbath, I don't people say no, there will be celebration. So for me, it is important that there is no violence. Even those who refuse to sign peace agreement that be consumed by the war in their heart, not the war provided by anybody. So, to God be the glory. Now, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I have the special honor, and I want you to listen, the special honor and real privilege to produce a man who God has created and whose parents, knowing his future, decided to give him God's will. God's will, no man's will. The common senior president of the 10th Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He has come to a door typical of him to lie low, quiet, invisible, all in prayer that may the will of God prevail in this election. Who else can that be? The only senior president in the history of Nigeria who, while he seated, encouraged, supported, mobilized, and did everything that was within his powers legally and democratically and transparently to ensure that one of his own colleagues because he accepted us as his colleague even though he's our boss in the Senate to support one of us to become a governor and I speak of no one else but the man who whose parents know what he will be when they name him God's will Akpabi the uncommon senator uh, the common senator of the 10th Senate 
of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the man who has showed so much commitment to President Bola Ahmed Dinubu's vision for renewed hope, and the man who is willing to take all the bullets to ensure that the ship of state remain afloat using his legislative powers, for which I am proud to say he is my Senate President. God's will acquire you. How do you feel on occasion like this? Uh, 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 has said it all. Uh, for me, uh, I believe that this is a turning point in the policies of Edo. This is a turning point in the policies of Edo State. The will of God has been done today. Um, I regard this day as a day of liberation. You meant God's will? Yes, I, I believe God's strongly will. that God's will yes. has been done today in Edo State. Yes, and I also want you to know that the will of God for people is nothing but progress, happiness, joy, and prosperity. I, I believe strongly that the election of Edo, though very tense at the beginning, the outcome is a reflection of the confidence that Nigerians have continued to express in President Asuwaju Bola Ahmed Tunibu, that his administration has made a mess on the ground, but they are, they are doing their best to see how they can turn around the fortunes of Nigerians. I want to tell you to remain patient, and continue to support the president, support his administration, and know that yes, even like what has happened in Edo now, is a clear reflection of what will happen in Ondo. You have seen this video. Thank you for watching. Please do wait to go to the comment section and drop your comments. I don't have anything to say right here. Thank you for watching.